Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading, I will be looking at the current energies, the person in your mind, uh, the new person coming in if you're looking for a new connection and other important details. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well and I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. If you have any feedback suggestions, you are welcome to write me at the feedback link that is in the description box as well. Okay, let's start by shuffling five times the deck. Three more shuffles. What are the energies around you? Look at that. Two of Cups, Page of Swords. Now, the quickest message I got was the soulmate wants to talk. The soulmate is watching. Now, either uh, this is the special connection that you had with uh, somebody, that you felt like a soulmate. If this is the case, they are watching you. If you have closed that chapter already, I think there's a person that has some crush on you and wants to connect. They might be your friend as well, or you have a, a great connection as a friend, but they want something deeper and more. There's a desire to communicate here. There's Gemini here, air signs as well. Emphasize, so despite, uh, except uh, Gemini that is very uh, in focus here. I have Aquarius and Libra as well, or they have lots of air in their chart. Very intelligent person for sure. What is affecting you in your subconscious? Communication. Either it happened and it didn't go well and that is bothering you or you needing to talk to somebody about something to get clarity, to know the truth. What was the main challenge in the past, in the connection? It was not a solid connection because uh, this person didn't want to commit or was afraid of commitment. Or at best, uh, they had too much in their plate uh, too, more, too much work responsibilities and they didn't have much time but I know that's a justification anyway I do see a lack of maturity that might have caused the breakup Ten of Wands and Ace of Wands you are hoping to manifest a new passionate beginning something real uh, intensive a connection that makes you feel alive again now with the Ten of Wands you have this uh, uh, you are very cautious to deal with any heavy connection or you don't want to deal with a connection that has so many uh, problems like with uh, connecting with somebody that has lots of baggage connecting with somebody that does not want to work together and you have to do all the heavy lifting here so that's uh, that's something you want to avoid a connection that feels heavy now let's see about the person that is currently in your mind, what are their current energies, and then I will move to the next new person. Okay, what about the person that is currently in your mind, what are their current energies, they do miss you a lot. They crazy, crazily miss you. Um, they miss the good moments, they have nostalgia, good nostalgia about the past. And uh, not only that, but they may see you in their dreams constantly. And they want something new. They know that the connection with you uh, was not a coincidence. It was faded. It was meant to happen. But unfortunately, they see a big disconnection. They are not happy with that. They have this impression that you have moved on and already chosen somebody else. There's, uh, with the lovers here, I see Gemini emphasized. Uh, there's uh, water signs and fixed signs as well. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, maybe another Taurus, uh, Leo, and Scorpio. So Scorpio is emphasized as well as a water sign. Gemini, water, and fixed signs. What is on their mind? how you have stopped walking towards them and probably they are coming to this conclusion that you don't have any feelings or love for them anymore what is affecting them in their subconscious they have been wanting to reach out to you to hear a message of love from you 
they have uh, wanted to talk about something that is very deep, uh, probably an apology as well. They can't end this. They can't. Even though they keep the silence, they can't uh, forget this connection at all. Do they have any plans of action? They feel rejected by you, ghosted, left out in the cold. That's why they are keeping this distance and I think they will continue like that. With that Eight of Cups, it's very hard for them. But they are moving away. Now let's see, what is some possible outcome in the near future? Uh, Page of Pentacles, you might have a friendly communication or what I see more evident here is uh, this person somehow will give a sign to you. Maybe they will post something in their social media that gives you hints that they're thinking about you, that they miss you. Something like that. And that is their way of wanting to send this message of reconnection. They are deeply hurt as well by the by this ending and they haven't healed completely uh, deep inside they haven't healed even though they feel like uh, they feel better from this it's not the same as uh, after the breakup but if you want to know even more details about this person there is an extended video as well in the description box below with even more details about their current energies and some of your energies as well okay let's continue with a new person then the next story, the new person coming in, if you're looking for that. I do see a person that gets attention from others. They try to give into the connection. It's not the person that engages in a one-sided relationship. They want something fair and balanced. But they will start giving little in the beginning. Because they would not see much interest from you. They don't think you'd get... Uh, any big interest towards them. I have Earth signs, especially here, emphasized. Might be another Taurus. Taurus is emphasized here. You might have connected with another Taurus or Taurus rising, Taurus moon. Uh, not only Taurus sun. Or very much placements of Earth signs in their chart. Uh, what will be your first impression about them? Now, you like how they talk. They seem intelligent, but uh, you're not very convinced they are the mature person you're looking for in terms of communication. And uh, somehow they, they feel or might seem bossy to you, like very domineering, uh, and you don't like that. That is your first impression. What will be their first impression towards you? Like, they will enjoy the company with you. Uh, they will have much fun and uh, they will feel fulfilled after uh, the connection with you. They will have this impression that you're dating around, you have options, you're not ready to commit. That will be their first impression. Now, what is the energy the first month of this interaction? Let's see about that. Seven of Swords, avoidance. I think this is you avoiding this connection, not wanting to give this energy not wanting to feed with energy this connection because you are a bit confused you are not quite sure what is the advice for you if this resonates this can be a successful connection i think that you should uh, think it twice if you have a decision or idea about uh, avoiding them keeping the distance i think you should uh, give it more time it's worth exploring to see if there's a, a real connection between you both. I think this has potential to be successful. A much bigger potential than you might think at the time of meeting this person. Doris, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, uh, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. It helps the channel a lot and I highly appreciate it. Also, if you, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily based on the elements. Wishing you all the best. I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.